So my name's Wendy Vance and I, my area of expertise is in soil science and crop physiology and agronomy. And I teach here in the majors of crop and pasture science and environmental science. So the way I see agriculture is that um, we need to provide food and resources and for um, us to eat and for us to continue to survive. Um, apparently by 2050 we will have a lot of trouble in making sure that we're feeding um, all of the population of the world. And for me I think agriculture is a lot about making sure that we have enough resources for people in developing and developed countries as well. To get a, a good handle of an agricultural science degree is probably to do crop and pasture science with animal science or animal health. So those two go really well together because you're getting the crop and pasture side of it where you're learning about soils, farming systems, different crops, different crop management ideas, crop physiology, but then of course you're moving into the animal science as well, looking at animal production systems as well as some of the economics, probably the marketing, um, and maybe even some of the communication aspects. Another great um, major or minor to do with, uh, anything to do with agricultural science would be crop and pasture science with a biomedical major. That would be um, fantastic because there's a lot of work that's been done in genetics and in plant breeding, which requires you to have both of those um, areas of expertise. I think one of the things that sets Murdoch apart in terms of the crop and pasture science degree is that we do have a lot of um, international experts who are at, at a, working at a high level in whatever their field of expertise is. We also have um, class sizes, I think, that allow you to interact really well with those scientists and that you can continue to interact with them over the three years of your degree or the four years if you move on to do honours. We do do um, some field experiments where we go out in the field and we look at what you, the measurements you would take if you were to do an experiment in a field location. We also go out to Whitby Falls Farm, which is the Murdoch farm. And one of the other good things about studying at Murdoch is that we also do some industry tours. So in the Advanced Crop and Pasture Science Unit, we go off to CSBP and the Department of Agriculture and we talk to scientists and researchers there. One of the reasons it's important to get hands-on knowledge is so that you actually can go out to a workplace and you can show that you know what you're doing. It's important to show that you have skills that you've learnt from your courses that you can take with you into the future. There's quite a range of jobs that you could go to after you've done a crop and pasture science degree or an agricultural science degree. Mostly people might say that you'd go into maybe work for the Department of Agriculture, you might go work for a company that works in development of an input for a cropping system, um, say fertilizers, herbicides, you might go into plant breeding, so you might become someone who starts developing um, new cultivars of different wheats or barleys or chickpeas. But you might also go work for a bank, you might go work for an insurance company. There's many different places you might go to after a um, doing an agricultural science degree. One thing about agricultural science is that a lot of people go off to do work where they work to provide advice to people. So those people are called agronomists or people who work in extension activities. And that's a really important part of our industry because whatever we develop as researchers needs to actually find um, a pathway to the consumer or to our target audience, which is normally a farmer. One of the exciting things about agriculture at the moment is that we, in terms of studying crop and pasture science, is there's, there's a lot of new techniques in how to do it. And so this means that you're able to collect a lot more data in a much faster way than you could in the past. One of the things I've really enjoyed in teaching the units uh, is that we do go out into the Whitby Falls farm and we look at crops and pastures in the field and we take measurements and that we are actually taking measurements that I would use on a day-to-day -day experiment if I was to do that. We also set up pot, pot trials with students um, and we follow those experiments through for a whole semester. And that's again, really similar to what I would do in a day-to-day -day work environment. So that's what I really like about this job.